Hi, and welcome to Day to Day with Ray, with me, Ray Ray, and my sleeping kitty, Luna, in the background. So today I kind of wanted to talk a little bit. Um, I was actually having a conversation with one of my friends earlier in the week, and um, I was telling her, you know, how well Braden's doing and like our little regimen that we have going on where he does a couple papers in the morning, like at least one reading, one math, blah, 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 blah. You know, and that we're working on his homework and stuff. And she's just like, you know, well, that's great. You know, she's like, I'm happy that he's doing well. She's like, but you know, kids should just be kids. And you know what? I 110% agree with that. But this fucking common core bullshit makes kids not kids anymore. Like, I feel like, I don't know, like, they're, they're making kids do things way too early. They're taking the fun out of school. A lot of, like I said, before Common Core was even implemented, there was so many kids that were doing well and like school and, you know, and this and that. And, like, it's like to sit there and say that all kids must learn this way is absolutely preposterous. All kids don't learn the same way. And then it's like, I mean, I can go on and on and I will ramble because I have so much stuff shooting in my head that I want to say and get out. It's like, okay, so from working inside the school system for 10 years, I've seen how it um, has gone. Like when I first started, it was good. It was starting to go downhill. This is like particularly based off of what my school is, but now it's just like everywhere because um, part a lot of like the testing and stuff that they do, it's really not for the kids. The scores are go towards the principal's performance. And I feel like a whole school as, you know, shouldn't, um, or principal's, uh, evaluation shouldn't be based on the test scores of kids I feel like it should go on the morale and like oh it's just I get so frustrated because I've seen inside the school and the one thing I always tell parents parents if a teacher comes or if a, if a teacher if your child comes home and says your child or says I can't even talk I got I'm telling you blah, 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 I got so much just don't let's like don't even get me started on this this topic um if your child comes home and tells you my teacher does not like me do not just blow it off seriously and i say this because i have seen the way teachers some teachers have treated students but it's really like i mean it's them as a individual per teacher though and you know even though you're not supposed to have favoritism you do i've had my favorites but um, I worked in the CALS program. Not that that makes it any better, but I've always treated all kids equally and fairly, you know, and it's like, um, you know, I'm, it's just, I, I just, again, the way the schools are nowadays between the, the, the teachers are frustrated with Common Core. The students are frustrated with Common Core. Teachers have to go back to school to learn this stuff. There is this one testing. It's called map testing. All the kids have to do it. My son did it. And it's basically like, um, well, I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's different versions of it for different grades. But even the autistic kids had to take it. It's like a two-day test. It's like 40 or 50 minutes long sitting. The kids can't get up. They have they can't have anything with them. They have to sit staring at a computer, answering questions, and doing things with the mouse. Now, mind you, the kids that I work with were um, lower on the spectrum, so they couldn't even identify their picture, but you want them to, to take the mouse and drag the basketball and put it up in the hoop and then go into the next question and then it's like the narrator that tells you what to do talks like this okay click on three blue birds it, it's it's not interesting to the autistic kids it's not gaining their interest let me tell you i got bit three times one time during one session 
of MAC testing. And then, and then the, the um, supervising teachers were like, just click on anything. Just click on anything. Just get, get through the test. Then what was the whole point of even forcing these freaking poor kids to take this goddamn stupid test? Just like, you know, even though the, um, the uh, curriculum is adapted for these autistic kids, they want them to follow their grades curriculum. These kids can't even identify their pictures. They can't pick out their name out of two, out of, like, no. The autistic kids need to have, you know, a, a different, like, they should not, they should have different rules. I'm serious. They should have different rules. Maybe the higher functioning kids, okay, yeah. But the lower functioning, no. Absolutely. I've worked in all of the different classes. I've work, worked in the pre-K cows. I've worked with the higher functioning fourth and fifth graders because the classes have, um, like there's primary and intermediate. And what they should be is separated. You have your lower functioning intermediate and your higher functioning intermediate. And um, well, that's how it used to be. But then they just threw them all in one class and called it a day, which makes the higher functioning kids suffer because you're busy all day dealing with behaviors for the lower functioning. And it's the way where I live is just so screwed up. I think they just have the kids there for some kind of perk, some kind of benefit, something because it's just absolutely absurd the way that these kids are you know whatever I need a drink it's not alcoholic but I might be thinking about it but yeah so like you know I just I, I hate common core it's just too much let me show you something this is what I was telling uh, my girlfriend this is the packet um, the summer packet that his kindergarten teacher sent home and it's just for the summer you know it's just to kind of it basically says to kind of get your your child prepared for first grade and some of the work and stuff no granted it's been 30 years since I was in first grade I don't remember much you know which is fine whatever but this is this is what they have to do they have to read this, and then they have to write. They have to answer all these questions. Like, I mean, he was doing that in kindergarten, but I mean, then it's like, you know, main idea, details. You have to write three details about this, and then you have to write the main idea of this. Okay, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we did learn this in first grade. I sure in hell don't remember learning this in third grade. I remember doing this my first year working at the school in third grade. That's what I'm basing this off of. Before Common Core was even a thing, I was in a regular ed third grade class with a student, an autistic student who of course was on the higher scale, but he still needed an aide with him to sit and try to explain stuff, keep him focused, stuff like that. This kind of stuff we were doing in third grade. This is first grade work now. First grade fucking work. Are you kidding me? Like even the stuff that he had for kindergarten. I can't believe that he even had. Like, okay, look. Narrative writing prompts. Information writing prompts. This is stuff for... This is third grade work. This is for first grade. This is... Uh, this just blows my mind. Ugh. I don't know. Fix a sentence by adding, like, I, I just, I don't understand it. I don't, I don't understand it. And this new math stuff, that kills me too. The new, I don't think they have, I think this is all basic stuff, which is fine, you know. I don't know. I just, I'm just, mind blown about like anybody who has a kid in elementary school this and this is just you know I've only worked in elementary school but I just think reason why kids are you know 
not out of control, but you know, oh, and that's the other thing. That's the other thing. I don't know where anybody else is, but like my elementary school has gotten totally and way out of control. And the thing is, the principal doesn't discipline. But apparently, a lot of the schools were told that they're not allowed to discipline. Well, if you're not allowed to discipline, then what are you supposed to do? You know, when you have unruly kids. There was um, an example. Well, this is crazy. This is, I have to tell the story. One of the teachers was uh, was conducting a running club, and it was after school. And But you had to have good grades to be able to do the running club. That's fair. The one little girl didn't have any good grades, or she just missed running club. She went to the teacher, and she had asked her, and she said, no, you didn't make it. I'm sorry. You didn't have good good enough grades. She went home and told her parents that this teacher pushed her, and she fell and hit her head. So then the, te the parents came up to the school the next day, next morning, furious. I would have been, too, if my child came home and said that a teacher push them but then it's like you don't know who to believe like that's kind of far-fetched like in a way because I'll be like well did she really push you or did you just trip or you know whatever teachers as long as I've ever worked in a school system a teacher has never laid a hand on a student unless it was a caring hand hand on the shoulder you know stuff like that never in a bad way except for one I take that back, but that was in the cows class, but that was different. That's a story for another day. Um, but so the teacher was on automatic suspension. She had to do stuff in the school um, until this whole thing was sorted out. The parents said they took her to the hospital. She had this and she had that. And we'll come to find out the parents didn't even take her. And then once the school called her out on it, the student finally confessed that she had lied. And, but it's like, and then the parents confessed that they had lied about taking her to the hospital. And, um, it's like, my whole thing is, what are you teaching your child? What happens if, does, I mean, th this teacher could have lost her job, lost her job from some false accusation. And this isn't the first time that it's happened. And it's like, but what are you teaching your child? Like, what happens if your little girl grows up and her and her boyfriend get in a fight and you go home and say, oh, daddy, he raped me. And you say, oh, well, we, you know, da, da, da. like that boy could lose so much off of one little lie. Like, I don't like, I don't know. This world is so crazy and screwed up. Common Core, I fucking hate it. They need to get rid of it and go back and let the teachers teach, let children. Let me tell you something. If your children have not had any kind of preschool, you need to get them in preschool. There was one little boy when one year I worked in a kindergarten class. He It was the beginning of the year. He cried. And then he had to get occupational therapy, which is OT, because he couldn't use scissors. But everybody else knew how to use scissors just about. Some still had trouble, but they all knew the just of it. And he cried all the time because he had to use scissors and he had to cut. And so he had to get occupational therapy because, and he had to get pulled out of the class. Or the, te the therapist had to come in and sit with him and single him out. And I just, I don't feel like that's right. There was another little girl. She cried all the time because she couldn't spell her name. She couldn't write. She didn't know how to write. You know, and like a lot of parents, well, that's what you're going to go to school for. You're going to go to kindergarten, you're going to learn, you're going to read, you're going to write. But a lot of the kids already know how to do this when they just get into kindergarten. Kindergarten is not kindergarten anymore, you know. And it's like, if you're going to keep your kids home until they get into kindergarten, that's fine. But you need to work with them. You need to teach them their ABCs, teach them at least 1 through 10. You need to do upper and lower case, and you need to write with them. Have them at least be able to write their name. They do do handwriting, but a lot of kids already know it, and it goes by pretty quickly. You know, um, they used to pull groups out of the slower kids so they can work on the basics while the other kids worked on other things, you know, and that's, oh my, it's like, don't even get me started. This is like, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. The schools, 
you know, and my heart used to break every time she used to try to write, write her name. I think she's, she's going to third grade now. And uh, she was just the sweetest little girl. And she cried every morning. And the teacher would be like, don't cry. Because, you know, and it's not like she meant to be hard. But it's like, okay, you can't cry about it. You know, and that's what she used to tell her. You can't, like, stop crying. You need to learn to do this. You need to practice. You need to write your name. You need to do this, you know. And I don't, like... These kids, they make them do way too much than what they're supposed, than what I feel they need to be doing. Like, they took naps away. A lot of kids are very, always tired in the afternoon. They do so much in the mornings, you know, and it's like, you know, they, they just learn so much. They try to pack them with all this stuff, and it's like you don't let it, they don't let it absorb before they're moving on to something else and it's not the teachers it's fucking common core and it's like stop worrying like stop like just let let them i don't even know like this insaneness has to stop it has to i i don't know but I need to stop because I will, I can just keep going on and on and on about this because like I said, I've worked in a school system for a long time. I've seen things, you know, with the way kids have changed, the way school systems have changed. Like, t like teachers are afraid to do anything. They're afraid to say anything to kids because they go home and then their parents all jump up in the fence. And there's the other thing, a lot of young parents, so they're just like, what and da, 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 and you, they don't take the time to think about it like okay is my kid really does he really mean this or is he just bullshitting me you know or is he just mad as a teacher you know it's just uh i don't know i don't i don't understand like i don't know i i just don't know but i'm gonna wrap this up for now i can make another rant video about it but if you have any comments or anything that you have to say, whether you agree or disagree with me, just feel free to comment. I would love it. Feel free to describe, describe, no, subscribe to my channel. And um, I'm just going to keep making videos and I hope people start to like it. But yeah, so maybe another day I will continue my rant, but that's just how I feel. Fuck Common Core. Get it out of the schools. Let teachers be teachers. And that's all I have to say about that. And it's not all I have to say. Treat the autistic kids and special needs children correctly. Ugh. My son's not special needs, but my I've worked with them for so long. It's a special place in my heart. So they need to whatever. Okay, that's it. Peace, love, and happiness, and remember to always be kind to one another because somebody's always fighting a, a harder battle than you, and that's all I got to say for today. Peace, love, and happiness. Peace out. Bye. Bye-bye.